Hi, my name is Taryn Darby, and I'm an avid engineer, producer, and instructor. Today I'm here at Sweetwater Sound, and I'd like to show you some examples of how to set up a rewire application. I have Pro Tools and Ableton Live today. I'm starting out with a Pro Tools session, and before I get started, I'd just like to let you know that Rewire is a cross-platform conduit that allows you to stream 64 audio and MIDI streams ind independently in between two applications. So we'll start out by creating our Pro Tools session, and you can create an auxiliary track, audio track, or instrument track. I'm going to start out with an auxiliary track. And on the insert, you would put the rewire application onto the insert. Now, once this is instantiated, notice that Ableton Live appears with the 64 available streams. Now, I will launch Ableton Live. In Ableton, as you know, all the outputs default to the master. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually just simply change the rewire plugin to the mix left right. And now I can actually monitor in stereo the entire Ableton session. And that's quite useful in modern day workflow, but what I'd like to show you now is how you can actually take that and use all of the five tracks independently rewired into Pro Tools. In order to do that, I would need an audio track corresponding to each auxiliary track. So I'll create an audio track directly up under it. And in Pro Tools routing, I would take the output of each track, send it to a bus, and route the input to the audio track so I can record that data. Now what I would like to do is create the additional auxiliary tracks and audio tracks and name them correspondingly. A good practice would be to place each of your auxiliary tracks and your audio tracks on top of each other. I like to start out with an auxiliary track on top and audio track, the corresponding audio track that I'm going to record to below it. Now what I'd like to do is I'll name my audio tracks in Pro Tools corresponding to my Ableton Live tracks. Kick, hat, clap, top, and vocal sample. Now that I have my tracks named in Pro Tools, what I'd like to do is instantiate the Ableton plugin on each of my auxiliary tracks. Now since I've only selected my auxiliary tracks, I'm going to hold down Shift Option to assign the Ableton plugin to each of the aux tracks. Now that I've instantiated the Ableton Live plugin on each of my auxiliary tracks, I can now monitor Ableton on independent tracks. However, since Ableton Live defaults to mix left right as the first one, I can now take advantage of using rewire with independent tracks by reassigning each of them to a bus. Three and four, five and six. Now as you can see, each of these have an independent stereo pair routing from Ableton. On the Ableton side of things, you notice that all of the default I.O. is to the master. What I need to do in order to reroute that into Pro Tools is change the master to rewire out on each track. Once I do that, I then can add the corresponding bus that is associated to each of the auxiliary tracks in Pro Tools. Now that I've routed all of my rewire plugins in Pro Tools, I now have to route all of the auxiliary tracks to the inputs of my audio tracks. Bus 1 and 2 to bus 1 and 2. Three and four. To three and four. 
Now, I can play the tracks and notice that each of my audio tracks are monitoring the input. So with that being said, if I would like to record these tracks into Pro Tools, I just simply arm my tracks and hit record. And now I'm recording each independent track from Ableton Live into Pro Tools via Rewire. Now that I have my audio into Pro Tools, I can now play back the audio as normal. Another advantage to using Rewire is I can take advantage of streaming MIDI data as well between applications. So what I like to do is go to Ableton Live I've created an instrument track, and on that, I've placed a Juno 106 bass. Now, in order to monitor that, I can, in Pro Tools, create a stereo instrument track. Extantiate the Ableton Live plugin for Rewire. Give it an assignment for its output. In this case, I'll use 15 and 16. And notice on the instrument track in Pro Tools, I can assign the output to the newly created MIDI track in Ableton. This is really cool in the workflow because now I'm taking advantage of Ableton's instrument rack inside of Pro Tools. If I arm the track, I now can play the bass inside. Now notice how we don't hear the sound. In order to hear that and monitor it, I have to switch the master out to rewire and then use the corresponding bus that I've chosen. I can play back my audio that I recorded earlier, hit record in Pro Tools, and actually record a performance from Ableton's instrument track. And that's how you can use Ableton Live and Pro Tools together streaming audio and MIDI data. Have fun creating, and if you have any additional questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.